The following presentation contains improper use of an electrical socket. Had the protagonist been a real person and not a video game character, he would have gained awesome superpowers of an electrical nature. You can too! So now we can get into the factory. Unisex, uh, you, unisex, Usinex. Strange name for a factory that produces fishing equipment. Strange name for a factory, period, but uh, let's get inside. Don't want to attract too much attention, so I'll talk to the receptionist. Surprise. What does your company manufacture? We produce fishing items. Oh, really? I'm looking for a job. Send us your resume. The personnel officer is very busy. He can't see you right now. I kind of dig this industrial music, though. I'd like to speak to your boss. Who are you? Don't see your FBI. I'm a reporter. My boss isn't here right now. Can I help you? What would you like to know? I want to tour the factory. Sure, if you want. I'll notify the guards. Do you know a Bernie Berkson? Mm, no. The name is familiar. Whose idea was it really to name the villain Bernie? This factory is tightly guarded, don't you think? Well, we have to prevent industrial espionage. I mean, Hopkins isn't too cool a name in the first I have place. To go. Oh, let's call the elevator. There's four floors, and they all look pretty much alike. Door is closed. Very good, Hopkins. Now open it. Can't do anything with this woman standing with her back and speaking towards me. Hmm. Looking around in the factory is very annoying. We're searching for some incredibly small hotspots. Found a box of matches. Like this one. And then you're done. Alright, check out the other office. Okay, this one's really ridiculous. Try to find the paper clip in this room. It's probably connected to a control room. Yes, there we go. There's a paper clip on the sheet. Oh, come on. Alright, again, that's all we need from this uh, office. Let's go up to the next floor. It seems designed to read an identification card. Alright. Vacuum cleaner. It's an ordinary vacuum cleaner. Looks pretty odd to me. It's a water cooler. I'm not thirsty. Alright, fine. Fuck you then. Let's get into this office. 
Not a whole lot of interest in here other than this trash can. It's full of garbage. The smell is awful. Let's set fire to it. I can't do this. This room is under surveillance. All right, so there's a security camera pointed, pointed towards me. We have to somehow get rid of that. Explore. Wow, that's some painful looking modern art. I can't. This one only has a locked door. Door is locked from the inside. So let's go to the fourth floor then. Two more offices to check out. This one, there's only this guy who absolutely does not care that I'm here. There are many objects on it. Yes, try and identify some of these objects if you can. I see nothing important. All right, then don't. Hey, dude. He's working on a computer. I don't want to talk to him. Yeah, nothing you can actually do in this place. Let's go out and enter the other office. Which turns out to be a research lab. There is nothing important. No. It's at least kind of strange that you're examining plants in a speak factory to... A Bunsen burner. Anyway, here's another incredibly tiny hotspot that you're supposed to find among the millions of other hotspots. It's a rubber glove. Okay, I've put the gloves on. Let's put the gloves on, you just can't see them. Well, now we're supposed to go back to the second floor. Actually, I'm kind of regretting putting on those gloves now, because they're supposed to insulate Hopkins against electricity for an action he's about to take next. Right, there's a vacuum cleaner. Let's pull the cable out of its socket. Vacuum cleaner is plugged in here. have to click on the cable itself and not the plug. The socket is free. Now I'm supposed to jam in a paper clip. Though of course if I'm not wearing the gloves, Hopkins is gonna get a shot. Wires have short circuited. Well I love to see Hopkins suffer, so let's have a quick look at that first. Kill him though. So no harm in doing it again. Alright, now let's go back to the game where I short circuited this floor using the paper clip. The short circuit turned off the camera. This room is not under surveillance anymore. Excellent. So now we're free to set fire to this garbage can. The fire alarm has gone off. Guards will be here soon. I must go. Meanwhile, somewhere else. Fire 
there. Alarm has gone off on the second floor. Now check it out. Now, on the third floor, there was, of course, a locked office. Since the guard has gone out and apparently did not lock the door behind him, we can get in here now. All sorts of interesting equipment, but there's only one tiny little hotspot that I actually need to click on. It's the guard's identification badge. There's a microchip on it. Ooh, microchip. There's nothing on this monitor. It shows one of the offices on the fourth floor. All right, no point to this. Let's get back to the elevator. See what happens when we jam in that identification card. Ah, secret passage. Door is locked. Yeah, all the doors on this area are locked. All looks pretty interesting, but there's only one thing you can actually interact with. Well, that's this machine. There's a note on it. Insert your card. All right, let's do that again then. A secret elevator with flashing rivets for some reason. Hello. Not sure if I can stand another one of these prolonged 3D animated sequences. So Hopkins gets into the submarine. Shaped like a shark. And I'm sure whoever made these animation got at least a B on their final project. And we emerge at the bottom of the ocean. With a perfectly intact steering wheel in the foreground. And here comes the incredible submarine maze, which really just amounts to clicking whatever direction you can. I don't think it's actually possible to get stuck or lost in this one. So it's just more pointless busy work. Finally, we arrive at some incredibly futuristic undersea base. Ah, uh, we've reached James Bond levels. Unfortunately, as Hopkins come in, he's immediately caught. Hopkins! You don't give up, do you? I never thought you would find my secret hideout. Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> I see that you have discovered my strategy for cheating death. But this is an unreliable process. It needs to be perfected if I master this. I'll be a, a kind of a god. <laughs> it's not a dream, Hopkins. 
I already know how to make clones. And my last experiments with resurrection are very, very encouraging. I've succeeded in bringing dead bodies back to life. But they're zombies. Only the Purgatory Teletransporter can restore their minds. My experiments? I need guinea pigs. And you'll make a wonderful little guinea pig. And he vanishes. And I hear you asking, can this get any stupider? Yes, it can. But for now, I have to go.